Welcome Libra to the Crystal Vein Tarot. My name is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me today. So Libra, this reading is for July 2021 and it is a general reading which means that the messages aren't going to resonate for everyone so be sure to check out your moon and rising sign readings as well. Also, I read the cards um, with the traditional meanings, but I also read them intuitively, so my messages might be a little bit different than some of the other readers out there. Okay, so Libra. So I'm going to be doing two rows here. This first row here, this first card is a message from your higher self. The second card is a message from your spirit guides. Then this first row, I'm going to pull three cards, and this will be um, your energy for the first half of July, and the second row will be for the second half of July. So we have as your message here, your higher, from your higher self, you have the King of Ariel, and for the two weeks you have the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. And your message from your spirit guides is the Ace of Water. And your cards for the, those last weeks are the Six of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. So I will be pulling clarifiers for these as we get going. And I am also going to pull um, some Wisdom Healing cards towards the end as well as an animal speak rune and then I'm going to finish off the reading with some angel answer cards. So I will ask you to come up with two questions at the end of the reading and I will pull answer, angel answer cards for those. So Libra, your higher self message here is the king of Ariel and this is about being successful, being stable, accomplished, powerful, believing in yourself. This is about your plans working out for you very well in both professional and financial areas and financial success. And it's about you using your resources wisely. So it's a very similar energy to that king of pentacles. So this is, you know, your higher self is telling you that you have you have the patience, you have the reliability, you have, you're able to put in the hard work in order to um, manifest whatever it is you want to manifest and accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. That you're very solid and practical um, when you really focus your energies on what it is you want to achieve. So for these first two weeks, you have the five, five of pentacles, then you have the three of swords and you have the knight of swords. So there is a lot of um, air energy here, which tells me that you're in your head a lot this uh, for the first half of July, Libra. Um, you could have experienced some kind of a disappointment, not necessarily in love. It could have been in any area of your life. It could even be where you, you had plans in place and they didn't turn out the way you wanted. And it's making you feel almost like um, you're feeling like, there's this, this feeling of loss or, or um, regret, almost like this fearing for your long-term security because what you, you intended to do didn't work out the way you wanted it to. So I'm feeling like this, for many of you, actually relates to your investments, your finances, your career, maybe even a side hobby, a side project, um, or like a side hustle that you had going to make extra income and it's not working out quite as you planned. But even with the message from your higher self, I'm feeling like don't give up on that Libra. Um, what you need is this Knight of Swords energy. This is what you, you're bringing to the table and that's what's going to help you through this. Um, this here is, you know, you're looking to make some kind of a lifestyle change through something that, and again, I, I feel for many of you, for others of you, it, it, this will be more about your relationships or could even be about spirituality, your health or wellness. But for many of you, I feel like this is about your finances, that some kind of project, you had something on the go and you were hoping that it was going to bring in some kind of an income, didn't turn out the way you planned, um, but you got to change things up. You have to change how you approach this. This is a good idea. It's a good, it's a good way for you to make that money, make extra income. You just need to approach it differently. And this is where you kind of have to go back, not completely to the drawing board, because this isn't the tower energy, but you have to kind of go back into your head, work things through what worked, look at what worked and what didn't work, rather than focusing on the disappointment and the loss. In the last half of the month, your spirit guides 
the message from them is that of the Ace of Water. So this could be about you falling in love um, or a renewal of a relationship. So for example, maybe in this first, maybe the energy here, you, you went out on your own to try something and this is telling you that, no, you need to go back to, um, you know, and work with someone else and kind of reconnect with someone else and get them involved in it and that will help you um, manifest what it is you were trying to manifest. But this can also be about spiritual growth, growth and enhanced tuition. So the, your spirit guides are giving you messages. They're, they're giving you ideas. They're sending you ideas and messages. Like when you sleep, um, when you have those quiet times and you have those little epiphanies or or ideas this is your your spirit guides talking to you trying to trying to give you insight into this situation so you can grow it and build it into something more but with this ace of water this is this whatever you're doing can give you that emotional fulfillment that you want it can make you emotionally happy and it can also be productive um, and, and and provide material abundance as well you have the six of wands this is telling me that success is right around the corner again you just need to tweak this a little bit and that success is coming in for you but you need to rely on your experiences from the past your knowledge that you've gained from everything that you've experienced um, and you need to approach it from a non-emotional perspective and this is how you're going to come up with a strategy to make this all successful and then of course with the eight of pentacles this worker bee energy um, you know this is really about you putting in the effort putting in the energy putting in that hard work to achieve what it is you want to achieve so essentially for you Libra the message is don't give up you are actually closer than you think to achieving what it is that you want to achieve and what you set out for so don't give up this is not the time to give up it's just time to kind of you know tweak things a little bit and push forward again and um and really like fine tune and harness your skills here because right? this is something that you're going to enjoy once it gets off the ground you're going to enjoy it so i'm going to just pull some clarifiers here I'm going to do this, 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 and this. Okay, it's a lot of wands and swords energy. So wands and swords, I mean, wands is fire energy, swords is that, that mental energy, that air energy. So it does really look like you're passionate about what it is that you want to do with the world here. The, and the world is, is clarifying that five of pentacles and three of swords. And this really indicates that a completion of a cycle and ending. Um, so this is like really letting go of your vision for what you had. You kind of need to go back to the drawing board um, with this nine of wands. This is that final obstacle, that final challenge. Um, also making being persistent here. So there is a persistence that, that's required. You have to move past this disappointment and persist and go back to that drawing board um, because again, what it is that you're trying to achieve, even if there is was a letdown for you, Libra, um, it's it's a good idea. This is something that you can really, you know, be successful with. You have the Queen of Wands clarifying the Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords, and you have the Knight of Swords clarifying the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So again, whatever it is that you're doing is going to lead to a lifestyle change. This is a whole new you. This is a whole new way of you living and your day-to-day -day life here um, of what it is that you're creating. And it's something that is, is going to be very beneficial for you. You have with the Queen of Wands energy, this is really about you just going out and getting it, having the confidence, knowing that you can do this and, um, and pushing forward with it and pushing forward with what you're passionate about, Libra. So I'm going to pull a wisdom for healing card one for each of the weeks okay so we have dare to be creative and that's really what it is going back to that drawing board it's not completely building it from the ground up but adding that creativity adding that spark adding that fire energy that you are passionate and excited about and that's what's going to help you Create a, tweak that vision and then expect a miracle. Know that it's coming. Know that this, what you're doing is, is solid and practical and it's and it's to your benefit, Libra. And, um, and expect it. Just expect it to work. Okay, so we're going to pull an animal speak rune for you now. And we have 
the butterfly, new birth, these tweaks that you're you're making. This is this is whatever it is that you're doing, Libra. Even though I felt it was more financial for many of you and related to that, this is a whole new you. Again, this is going to change your day-to-day -day habits, your day-to-day -day routines. Um, this is wonderful. This is a transformation for you with that butterfly energy. It's it's really beautiful. And just keep doing what you're doing and keep being persistent and persevere. So now I'm going to pull some an angel answer cards. So I need you, Libra, to come up with two questions. Think of two questions in your head. Just simple questions that just require a simple answer. And the first one is success. So that's the answer to your first question. And the answer to your second question, have that in your head, is you're ready. Excellent. So Libra, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, click on that notification bell, and I will see you next month. Stay safe and take care.